Everybody, heroes of the Greeks here with a multiplayer battle for 12 12 AD. It is in Pope Pom Joel's tournament. I'm playing as the Kingdom of Norway and we are fighting together with J Jonas Mann. And he's playing as the Kingdom or the uh, Seljuk Turks. We have up against him, we have the Electorate of Tyre. And over, uh, over us, we have the uh, uh, the Kingdom of Castile as one of our opponents today. Uh, there's already a little bit of a missile barrage against us over here. We have the uh, Spearman High being a uh, sort of shootout. We have a crossbow sword line with pikes in the flanks. And in reserve, we have um, basically foot rider and tableman as reserve units. In the flanks, uh, on his flank, we have the Malatros, also their main infantry unit. And on the flank, he has his missile, the guards, who of course are really great units. Oh my god, that is definitely interesting. And, um, yes, the skirmish phase is sort of started. And, um, yeah, these are not my melee crossbows, but I got cro melee crossbows and we got the not melee crossbows today. And as you can see, it's going to be a long battle and it's going to be a close one. I'm going to tell you that. But for this, I'm not going to tell you anything. Just enjoy the battle. It was a nice one. And uh, yeah, it was a good one to fight. But we're getting the first action here today on this flank. Uh, with the uh, uh, Elector Guard attacking. Oh my god. Nothing too much. But over here, yeah, that unit was absolutely wiped. It charged in. And that is not a thing you should do. Because they lost, like, I don't want me. Like, Hundred, almost more than ha almost half a unit, and they got like almost 70 kills. So that's great to see. But right now they are being sh shot down, and he's killing his cavalry. Uh, the cavalry of the Elector Guard is dying off, so that's definitely an advantage. On my flank, there's not much happening just yet, so don't worry about that. There's only a little bit of a skirmish phase uh, with me against him. And as we can see, he has a nice rear charge. He though killed some of these men. But his, his cavalry overall has been taken care of, at least mostly. And um, yeah, their, flat, their center line is okay. Jesus, the Electro Guard are really good. Look at that. And I'll say, for like a 38 unit, getting 171 kills is a damn good result. I cannot complain. That is not a bad thing. But yeah, I mostly have a front line of shield and just letting the crossbow fire for the moment. I'm not really engaging. Over here we are seeing his electro, his mounted electro guard coming who, who are a really good uh, shock infantry unit. Really heavily armored, really strong and are now going to slaughter possibly this side of the the map. That this, guy, this unit has been absolutely slaughtered. Can't really say anything else about that. Yeah, been slaughtered mostly. And he's now going to receive another charge of the Spanish Order Knight of, my, of their allies, seems like it, so... That's definitely an interesting thing. I have my... Uh, my, my uh, what is it? My foot rider pushing up, I'm pushing up my front line right now. Still mostly the engagement is going on over here between the general, so it is going to be careful. He has to be careful with his general, otherwise he will maybe die against the foot guards. Um... And uh, nah, he's still alive at the moment he breaks his cap over here. So it is interesting to see if he can push through here. Oh no, although they are, the Balkan nobles are being shot at by the uh, Electra Pazif. Oh no, that is not, oh they're not getting it. Okay, they actually still get a charge in the sky nice. That's quite nice still. I, I will pull them out and like go around. because Or at least retreat because they are sending in pikes. Over this flank, still nothing really is happening. He is using slingers, but I don't see at all a lot of times as, as any faction slingers. But I can tell you, he's going to use them to some good abilities today. Already getting a little bit of kill, like around 15 kills. But my front line is now mostly moving forward. I'm, of course, pushing in into shield wall because not fighting in shield wall is definitely a worse situation to fight in. He, of course, is in it as well. So it's going to be interesting to see what he can do. I'm just going to be really being easy and pulling through. Only my crossbow is really pulling up. And over here, there's a big gravity brawl with his spikes and uh, winning from this side. But his general is taking damage a little bit. 
and especially this oh my god that is a really good charge of them basically sending in their freaking heavy foot knights against their cavalry but possibly should uh, short should make short work of them and the arch chip electricity is also coming along to help out over here we are still sending guard i'm sending my man forward only i'm going to make you a mistake on the flank over here i have engaged um, these guys are trying to go around. I don't know why they attack because they could have absolutely slaughtered this because I was not paying attention to the point on this side. So I'm really lucky because he is not uh, because I was not paying attention. But now I am. He is now still, and I'm going to charge in with my uh, um, guys, basically getting a good charge in. And over this flank, the general of the electric bishop is dying off. I hope he kills him. Uh, I hope he does. I don't, don't, I don't, I don't think I did. Well, he will. Oh, some good shots over on that flank. And over here, I made a mistake, and I basically uh, forgot to charge in my cavalry. He charged my cavalry, and he took the advantage over there. But I have my uh, foot rider in here as well as my reserve calf going to try and go around. And the flank and the main <coughs> units are now. Sending forward, I have them in shield walls, so we have sort of an advantage over here. Unfortunately, I made a bit of a mistake here by not putting my crossbows in them, and I think they are going to lose. Unfortunately, they were intacted over here, so they're sort of routing. And um, a nice recharger over here. Oh my god, yeah, here we go. Yeah, the general of my ally is dying off. I don't think he dies though. Yeah, he is retreated. It's going to have any impact, like over here, his. His mainline is really, really, really bad against his dismounted uh, Electro Guard. And we are seeing some breaks because of the General and casualties retreating. General didn't die, so that's quite nice. I think both of these guys, General didn't die, but he retreated, so they are still fine, even though the General didn't rout. And over here we are seeing a nice shot, although the Electro, the King's Bodyguard did actually better than the next high over here. And I'm sending in my uh, heavy foot rider in um, I'm being shot in the back but they are uh, still going to push through I'm sending in my uh, general into this mesh to help out at least helping support over here my general my ally is breaking apart a little bit he is being his flank is being broken and his units in the center also routing but I'm trying to support him here and he still has some units left though I fear the pikes are helping although they don't get too many kills the swordsmen are doing a reasonable job I'm right now sending them in here to help out. We don't have it. We only have a spearman. I think this will actually break the um, the uh, what is it? The the spear unit. At least kill him a lot. I'm not too sure. And over here we are unfortunately seeing a break of my cavalry, so that's good for him. But over here we are winning on this flank. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see what he can do and how that is going to develop over here. He's sending in his pikes. I'm still holding my pikes over here. They are holding and sort of winning this flank, so that's quite decent. Over here my general is helping out with uh, killing off his spears. They're being attacked in the rear and I'm breaking through over here, so that's quite good. But my ally is... Uh, his flank is unfortunately breaking. I don't think he will get a charge in if I'm correct. Oh, that is a really good move. And this will just in time will uh, retreat his uh, cavalry. To, but I don't think his cavalry will just be routed though. And over here, this dismount electric guard again did really well. Killed most of these units over here and routed them. And um, they did not too well. Over here, we are seeing unfortunately a, pike, a fight against the pikes. But I think we are now pulling around over here so that's quite decent I'm mostly winning on my flank of the battlefield or the, the center line I'm breaking uh, breaking well my ally is unfortunately losing his flank but it's not too great um, so it's going to be interesting if I can hold this together uh, I hope he gets like a nice charge I think he does or maybe just so I think this charge will actually route this uh, this spike unit I think it did, yeah, but this uh, the general, his uh, Balkanomes, he did get a nice charge in though, so not bad. I'm basically sending in my pikes here to hold this, unfortunately I do think they will fall to the crossbows for now, but at the moment I think they just need to hold on any units. Over here these slingers, as you can see they're actually doing a little bit of damage, that is not bad. Unfortunately I am just 
like really difficult in killing his general but the uh, Ridinga over here have done both a really good job of getting around although this one didn't do well this one did like 120 kills really well and I'm going to charge into his general over here like he has like I think 27 men still left um, over here we are breaking the flank I'm sending in here for here my crossroad is fire basically in his flank over here what is helping out so that's quite nice to see and over here we are sending in his uh, our, our general his general is being charged and is losing men and uh, I think he he's losing decisively that's quite nice to see but over here we are also winning this part although my as I said my pies are going to be just here to stand and hopefully a hold off this this, this this flank and over here I'm just still shooting up so the crossbow are being quite decent and his general is slowly dying off like 20 kills left and he's starting to uh, a little bit break I think shake and attack and there is still 19 left and his general hasn't died yet so that is quite lucky over here my unit though has broken unfortunately but the uh, they, they are breaking this flank and I think I blocked up a bit too much over here I must admit I'm pulling them out at least one unit but I think over here I was a bit too bloppy I definitely could have pulled out like a unit or three more and possibly try and get around both of these units and possibly have done a little bit better there but at the moment I didn't I am sending over here my uh, foot and rider who have like 111 kills not bad but in the end they died to the Electra Passive who are extremely powerful crossbow units. They have done a great job basically. But yeah, his general with 12 men just didn't die and I just can't catch him. It was absolutely annoying to be honest. I just couldn't catch him with his 12 units left so I was really pissed that I didn't kill him because I think that would have routed the uh, Spanish army and I could have possibly mopped up um, this part of the army unfortunately didn't happen and these guys him being shot to death by the crossbows But that was inevitable my ally is still alive my crossbow being decent. They have like a little bit left <laughs> And uh, over here yeah, we are seeing uh, now the death of my cavalry my cavalry are dead and they're going to be an absolute pain to replace because These slingers they are really quick and I can't catch them and they're going to be able to do some good damage against my uh, foot riders We've done ill both reasonable job against their heavy caps, so that's not bad. Um, right now I'm trying to go around, try and kill them all off. I did pull them out in the end, but I think it was a bit too late. And over here my ally is still holding on though, so it still was a bit of a close fight. I thought he would die quicker, but he didn't in the end, so that's quite nice. And um, some of these guys did really well, some of them didn't. Fortunately he has like bikes in here, so possibly should pull out his heavy infantry because that possibly is better and I'm like maybe support this flank because this flank is now breaking okay he's sort of doing that although he's I think he will get an attack in the rear penalty or something yeah it is not great he's basically pulling through and now he's uh, losing the current combat and um uh, oh dearie oh they get a charge and don't they yep they are Ooh. that is definitely unfortunate for those crossbows for them doing that uh, those ones are going. Ah, they're still alive. Okay. Um, over here, my general is just about to die, but he is just alive. Unfortunately, these guys have been slaughtered in the end. And um, I'm not sure what I should have done it. I might have possibly should prioritize these crossbows because some of these crossbows like 120 kills already, and they actually have done a really good job of just mopping up these guys. I think that's also why they are getting some many kills right now because they're basically chasing down a routed unit and they're getting the kills because of it yeah yeah let's try that's definitely true because now they're uh, these bikes as well oh but these yeah I think um, oh he should not have, not have done that yeah that's basically a death sentence for units in the Tila most of the time Ooh, of this, is he still getting a charge in maybe yeah I should do it now because otherwise yeah oh yeah okay that's at the end yeah charge now please yeah no no yeah okay that's dead right ah uh, these guys are not in the in the in the in the pike so who knows oh dearie me oh yeah uh yeah my flank is doing a reasonable belt it is now the balance bar we have like a, a thousand men left they got uh, around 1100 or 1200 men left Unfortunately, these guys didn't break, and these guys didn't break either, so that was definitely an unfortunate uh, situation over here. 
And uh, in the end, I was surprised that these food and rider didn't just kill these guys instantly. I was really surprised at that. They actually just killed them. So, even with routing. Oh well. I'm now basically setting this up. Unfortunately, these, these flinger slingers have still some ammo left. And they're going to be a pain. And uh, unfortunately, he also has still ammo left, what is uh, definitely interesting. And now we're going to see the shot off of my forces by his. Yeah, that is basically what is now happening. It's going to be like a sort of a crossbow fight, although unfortunately, his crossbows are just a tit better. His crossbows are the Electra Passive with IT, and mine are mostly a sick, and they definitely have less armor, like around 50. I think also the firing rate is a bit lower. Oh no! Um, I can't actually see that. Oh well. These crossbows. Fire rate is actually 24, so some of these cry fates are actually b b better. But still, some of my crossbows is actually weird as well. These guys like 108 kills, not too bad overall. But unfortunately, I possibly should have gone for these guys and like mopped these guys up later. Unfortunately, these guys just didn't route. Like 11 units left. I was so pissed that I didn't, that he wasn't killed. But over it was a good battle. It was a really nice battle. For, it was really uh, quite quite anxious to play it because uh, yeah, it was an anxious battle to play it because it was really close and I liked that. It doesn't it was not bad and yeah, overall it was a good battle. It still is still close though, so both sides can still win. We have sort of the same amount of units. They have a little bit more. The balance by is even though a little bit in my favor, I think right now. I'm right now pulling back, but I think I should have just attacked him. I think that should have been the uh, main option here. Just go for their crossbows, pull back, and then come back to kill off these guys. I think that should be my priority. Instead, I'm going for them, because I think these, these ones are the more dangerous threat than these guys. And uh, they are just getting a little bit more pock shot up at my general, who still had 120 kills, so not too bad. Some of my bikes did bike, did, 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 did bike unit did actually quite well. Unfortunately, he is retreating with his units. What has been unfortunate? But okay, I'm fine with it for now. Uh, no, yeah, I think these guys are going to die. I, I'm now splitting up my forces, but I definitely shouldn't have done. I should have just pulled back, killed these guys off, and then come over there. But right now, I'm splitting up my forces, but it's not boding well in my favor. And these guys also still have their ammo left, especially them. I should have not attacked with. Possibly one of these guys just to pull them back a little bit, but they are getting the damage done against them. Look at that, they are killing them. Oh my god. They are 120. Yeah, over here I possibly should have done that, I think. Unfortunately, these passive uh, crossbows are basically uh, almost the same set wise, actually. Yeah, a little bit better, a little bit less, but uh, overall they have the same set wise as these guys. Fortunately, these guys did route and then they came back and now they're being shot up death. <laughs> over here we are killing off his bikes. I think though he's getting a nice charge in over here or just... Unfortunately over here my sword unit is dying off and his crossbows again are doing a good, good job. And they're getting some kills. Um, he, he possibly could have put up more of his units by now. Unfortunately, I do think though that it is, yeah, his spikes are, are, are really holding on quite well. Oh crap, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't have any uh, crossbows. I possibly should have not pulled these crossbows, and that was one of my mistakes I made here. I should not have pulled, I should not have attacked these guys. I should basically swarm these guys and then make a new line and then attack them. I think that should have been the better option. Because right now, even this bodyguard is almost dead, he's still going to get a nice charge into my units. And uh, the, the battlefield, you can say, is laid with corpses. And uh, yeah, that uh, unit now died. That was also a death. Oh, and he, oh, okay, yeah, that is why they are getting the kills. Yeah, okay, yeah, oh my god. Yeah, that is their 300 kills, but they are killing out again. So it is not totally... An inaccurate, accurate, but still 300 kills with routing units is not a bad result for freaking crossbows in a field battle. They have been used very well. Look at that, 306 kills. Well done to my opponent, I cannot say that is a bad thing. 
not at all. But yeah, I only have these guys left, and as you can see, the balance bar is creeping closer and closer to theirs. And it is slowly... We're now just going to go for an all wild charge, I think, to try to hold my bodyguard a little bit back, but... Uh, yeah, these guys are too far away to do any damage against the crossbows, I think. The crossbow is going to have a nice few day to just lining up to be shot at. And, um... That's that! I think we are going to try and one judge that, but I was not hopeful, to be honest. Uh, I was not hopeful when this point, and um, I must admit, I have, will lose the battle. This is the last Valiant charge, but anyone who has a little bit of a, a brain, I think, will know that this is the end of it. I think, uh, because the thing is, their uh, Elector General didn't die. Uh, that was definitely an advantage uh, for them that their Elector General didn't die, as well as their General, who didn't die too. So, they definitely had an advantage with that, and these guys also came back, so that's definitely a bit unfortunate, but... Ah well, in the end, we did, it was a nice, great battle. Uh, it was one of the better ones I played. Although I lost, I still enjoyed playing it. I can't say that it was not a bad battle. And that's why I still recommend you to play Medieval 12 Health 80 Total War. Uh, check out my channel, of course, right now, what you're, of course, doing for more of those and more multiplayer battles if you're interested in them. I have more, a little bit more coming. And uh, thank you all for watching already. Um, I know the battle was not done, but I, I think you know. I think you know there's no winning here, right? There is no winning here. It was a great battle. Well done to the opponents. Um, we will take a look on the battle map results uh, afterwards to make uh, to see the, the, the test results who had got the most kills. I'm pretty sure it was the Electro guy in the end. But yeah, like 130 kills, 240, and these guys again also 250 for for freaking crossbows. I must say they of course they get a little bit of kills because they kill the routers, but still. Yeah, bye bye. I only a my general has left though. Overall, not well done. Well played to my opponent. Let's end the replay and see a little bit of the bad results. Um, okay, here we go. Um, I think you can already see it. I'm not too sure. But here we go. Uh, this was my army setup. I had two, of course, four ridden birds. All of them did actually quite well. Unfortunately, this one didn't too well. The rest of around 100 kills, not bad. Some of my swords had around, most of them had around 100 kills. Two didn't. The rest did quite well. Uh, one crossbow did really well, 150 kills, uh, 65 kills, almost 100 kills. My cavalry were possibly the under uh, the part I didn't utilize too well. Of course, as I said in the battle, I uh, didn't charge him and I got charged because I was paying attention to everyone else. So unfortunately that happened. Overall, not a bad battle. As again, I said, well played to my opponent. Alright, then we go to June as my ally. Who played with the uh, Celtic Turks. He had... Um, uh, his general of unit 40 routed really early on. Um, that was a bit unfortunate, and I think that also broke a lot of his center. Like, these guys didn't really do well. I think they were really hacked up by the uh, some of his elector nobles, and also one of elector, his elector uh, guardians did really well against. I think it was one of his Yengrik archers, who uh, unfortunately didn't get too many kills, who have, of course, really good units if you utilize them quite well. Uh, his cross, passive crossbow, again, did quite well. Uh, one of his cavalry, his, his cavalry did definitely better than his. Unfortunately, he was able to break his flank, but I think he uh, l l l got him into a bad fight with, of course, the dismounted electric guards in the end there. What well, a bit unfortunate, but overall, not badly done. Uh, this was his opponent, I think. Yeah, uh, he was. this was his opponent. His general. Oh my god. That is lucky. Do you see how many men his general has left? Because I'm pretty sure he didn't get like a, a notification that his general died. So that was definitely an uh, advantage for this player. Because he didn't get a general kill with so many men left. So that was definitely an advantage he had there. But overall, this was the player who did really well with his crossbows. But all of them above 200 kills. Uh, with routers of course, but still, well done. I cannot say anything else. And one of his cavalry did really well as well. So not badly down of this player too, and this was my opponent in the first stages of the battle. Is I think his Spanish foot knights actually fought a lot on the side of my uh, 
my ally. I think he, uh, because he saw his flank, his allies flank, uh, uh, flank being broken. In the end, he he sent some of them in. I think that helped out a lot. Um, overall, his spears didn't do too well. One of them did reasonable. I think he fought with one of my cavalry. His one of his pikes did quite well. Uh, the uh, the pikes of one of pikes didn't. Most of his swords didn't do well. Except this one, reasonable well. Uh, so 130 kills. One of his slingers, 170 kills, and one other had 96 kills. But I say is really good for slingers. I never used him in multiple events. Maybe we should. Not bad. Unfortunately, uh, his calf didn't do well. I think they. Of course, we're in the fight with my uh, Ritter Burrs, or Foot Riders, in that uh, beginning of the engagement. But overall, it was ba uh, not a bad battle. It was really enjoyable to play, although a bit anxious when I uh, when we lost. Uh, first that we lost, but overall, not a bad battle. And uh, thank you for watching, and again, thank you for playing it with me, the players who played it with me. So again, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed, and if you think I deserve a like, and you want to stick around for more multiplayer battle for medieval 12 12 AD, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And again, thank you for watching. Have a great day.